I'm Percy Dovetonsils. On this date in 1782, Britain officially recognized the United States and won $10,000 on the old What's My Line show. On this day in 1839, the first opium war between China and Britain erupted. That's where the phrase was coined, don't shoot until you see the reds of their eyes. In 1868, Republican Ulysses S. Grant won the presidential election over Democrat Horatio Seymour. Imagine that, we were that close to having a president, Horatio Seymour. In 1896, Idaho became the first state to grant women the right to vote. Tapping into their forward thinking, they enabled women across the state to share the blame for who got elected. On this date in 1900, the very first auto show was held at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Several guys named Otto left embarrassed, as they misunderstood. The biggest problem in previous years was simply no autos to show. On this date in 1908, Republican William Taft was elected, the 27th United States President after defeating William Jennings Bryan. Yep, all three of them. On this date in 1917, first-class postage went up to three cents. Boy, think if you had repurchased some forever stamps then. These days that doesn't even cover the tip. In 1952, Charles Birdseye introduced frozen peas. Later that year, he received the frozen peas prize. For the record, they had nothing to do with the musical, Frozen. They were just peas. Finally, a vegetable that could double as an ice pack. By giving each of the peas men's names, he could sing, Freeze a Jolly Good Fellow. The fact that no one had ever thought of just sticking peas in a freezer before then is simply amazing. Hard to believe it took that long to develop frozen food, especially in places like Russia. The very first coast-to-coast -coast color TV broadcast took place on this date in 1953. Unfortunately, NBC chose to show a documentary on zebras and penguins in the Antarctic. On this date in 1956, The Wizard of Oz was shown on TV for the first time. Millions were amazed, as the movie started in black and white and just stayed there. People weren't as impressed when it went from black and white to color. Today is cliche day, if I had a nickel, International Stout Day, International Sandwich Day, and World Jellyfish Day. That stings. Colin Kaepernick turns 35 today. I was going to say, takes a knee on the 35-year line, but I don't want to take anyone off. Kathy Kinney, who played Mimi on the old Drew Carey show, turns 68 today. She was Mimi. Where every day was Halloween. The movie Monster Godzilla turns 68 today. He never blows out his candles. I mean, why bother? As you expect, he doesn't blow out his candles. He lights them. He's now eligible to breathe fire on social security. He's the one creature over 60 not bothered with AARP junk mail. His birthdays are always tricky. Three cities went up in flames the last time he tried to blow out the candles on his cake. As a special treat, he plans to go downtown and terrorize the local AARP office. Singer Adam Ant is also 68 today. Wow, Adam Ant and Godzilla are the same age. Did they go to the same schools? The only conservative comedian to come out of Saturday Night Live, Dennis Miller, celebrates his 69th birthday today. All the candles will be on the right side of his birthday cake. Roseanne Barr turns the big 7-0 today. Because of all the requests, she won't sing. No one has made the mute button more valuable than her. She's known by her first name and drinks a lot at her last name. She started as instead a whining comedian. But she's now gotten that refined to just complaining a lot. To think she was once married to Tom Arnold. What was either of them thinking? And finally, North Korea fired 23 missiles in the direction of their neighbor, South Korea, which means either they're bad at aiming or jerks. I think we know the answer to that one. With exciting facts to clutter your mind, I'm Percy Dovetonsils. For KDAZ, Digital Broadcasting, and thanks for listening.